before we head into Nakluda, because I kind of know what to expect here, you know? I kind of- I'm kind of ready for rain and cliffs dot area. Although we do have the rockets, which will be, be very helpful. Okay, teach me how, about how to throw. The shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Steady your aim, then throw the weapon at the enemy. This is the only way you may proceed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Done this before. Yep. Press and hold release. One. Well done. You did it. Congratulations, you've mastered the game. Watch the enemy's movements and throw the weapon carefully. You don't enter arrow time when you do it, even though you should. Die? Oh, is that it? Is that it, really? Okay. Well, I'm gonna take these rusty halberds with me, and I'm going to throw them at people. You have proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. I wonder if anyone actually kind of understands, uh, what voice I'm giving there. It's not... I'm not actually doing the impression right now, but I am channeling the same... Uh, the same, uh, vocal range, um as a certain character from one of the Xenoblade games. So if you you can guess, that would, that would be cool. I have said it once or twice before. Mo Moti Zynote Spear. I've said that before. <laughs> Drop. Get our ninth orb of light, I think. Tenth? All right, Korok, where's your friend? Where... Where are you? There you are. Yep, you need to breach your friend. Where is your friend? Across the world. Okay. Alright. That's fine. Look at him! Uh, I don't need the light. Get out of here. Is this a tractor? <laughs> this is just a tractor. Let's go! Uh, it's about as fast as a tractor, I guess. He's so protected. I kind of wish they had they could take damage. I actually feel like that would improve uh, these these little quests, because then you'd actually you know and maybe maybe they just make them more tedious. Actually, I think the the ability to just strap rockets to them is probably for the best, considering how how long the how much time these things take. Uh, take our tractor, which we are not guarded on. This is really weird construction for a, 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 a mo automobile. This seems like the worst way to do this, because you're super exposed at the top. Like, what benefit does this have? Other than maybe this. Hello. You see him? I brought him. You're welcome. Now, where... Is my horse out of range? I think he's on his way. Where's our next shrine? It's over there? Okay. I can start driving over there. Yeah. I might be so slow that I get hit by this whiz robe. Oh my word, this thing's so slow. I might not even be able to get through this area, actually. Uh, go through that way. Slip through. Skin of our teeth. This is the worst way to do this. But our horse is on the way. The horse is to the rescue. Horse, help me. Help me. Technology has failed me. Get me out of here. You know, I, I, one thing I, I really appreciate about this game, compared to other Zelda games, is how smoothly it controls. I've said that before, but like, I did exactly what I wanted to do there. I rode my tractor up to my horse, which I had called over, and I just slung on. That is so much better than any other Zelda game, where you can't call a Pona without pulling out your ocarina, or without going to horse grass, or getting this rare item, and here I just did what I wanted to do, and that feels great. Hey, does it feel like the amount of ore has dwindled a lot lately? I wonder if it's to do with the upheaval. Eh, but I've heard otherwise. 
I've heard that inside those recent cave formations, there's all sorts of new ore deposits. You can make e easy money selling rare gems off to shops, so it's common sense to investigate a cave when you find one. What are you doing? I How dare you tr use a horse? Oh. Have we been to that stable? We have not been to the stable. A new stable! Sick! I'm down to that. I mean, not new, but like new for us. Riverside Stable. Hey! What is going on? What's good? What's happening? Hey there, welcome to Riverside Stable. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one point to your pointy, pointy points. <laughs> your pointy points. Reward available. Oh, it looks like you got some points saved up, Link. You want to get your reward stepped to the side counter where I can keep the ledger and call me over. Now then, once again, welcome, Link. Do you want to register a horse and take it out for a ride? Uh, I would like... Oh, Kakariko Village is, is located between two steep mountains, so visitors to the village used to be few and far between. However, since those distinctive ring-shaped Zonai ruins landed there, things have been pretty lively. Keep hearing about that. Oh, hold on. That's wacky. Is that a, considered a sky shrine or not? Huh. There. Heath, come here. Come here, Heath. 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 I want to look at the ledger. You like to get your pony points of reward, right? As a reward for 10 points, you can now register an additional horse. If you see a horse out there you'd like to make yours, please bring it to us. If you just save up three more points, why, you get a traveler's saddle and a traveler's bridle for your horse. We appreciate your patronage. Uh, is there no one in this stable? Business must be terrible. Uh, where is... Where's my guy? Where's my buddy? Oh, the dog. Oh, the dog. Oh, the dog. Uh, dog, you... Have some meat, dog. Uh, that meat is as big as the dog, but it's all it's all his. The runes aren't far now. Oh, these are the people from the place. The lookout landing. We met you at Lookout Landing. Good to see a familiar face. We're, we're thinking of going to Kakariko Village in the Nakluda region next. That's to the east. This guy's dying to see the ring ruins. Of course I am. The ruins ring-like shape is one of a kind, except for all the rings everywhere. I can't wait to taste them. I mean, show them. I mean, um, <laughs> we've talked about this. Priceless ruins are for seeing, not eaten. Anyway, Kakariko Village is where we're headed. It's over there. Yup, it's there. There's one of the ring ruins. If you can turn around on the journey, you can look at those two things to reorient yourself. Then why wait? Let's go! Oh, he said that. Alright, big guy, we're off. See you on the road. Fade to black after we walk away briefly. And we will despawn, and you will see us a hundred miles from here. Uh, so this is a stable. Um, where is, where's Pen? Oh, the dog. Oh, the dog. Dog. Seriously, though, is Pen up there? Oh, he's over there. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Um, well, let's talk to this guy first. He probably just has old news, but eh, it's fine. I don't want to stay by the fire. I want to talk to the guy by the fire. Let's see. What's in this issue of the Lucky Clover Gazette? What's the news? Sand Shroud Skidoos. Gerudo Rejoice. Skidoos? Oh, it's gone. I get it now. Gerudo Desert has returned to normal. Around the same time, the Gerudo Chief, Riju, wiped out the terrifying monsters. The unusual sand shroud that plagued the area cleared up. That chief is quite the leader, I say. I heard she became chief when she was quite young. It's really amazing to see how much she's accomplished. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Once I've finished up with this paper, I'd better get moving on to the next stop. Maybe I'll head to Kakariko Village to in the southeast. I heard its chief is really impressive. I'm potentially evil. That's the intonation pal gave me for no reason. Uh, let's deal with the shrine first, and then we'll talk to Pen. Pen is currently talking to birds, and that will take him a while. The Tahitas Shrine! Whoa. Building with logs. The Tahitas Shrine. Uh, I, and yes, I know it's Tajika. Um, what is going on? 
Okay, so first and foremost... Oh, I think I know what they want me to do. And it's not that! Let's climb up there. They want me to take this with me, because I'm going to be making one very long log. Ooh, actually, no. That's not what I'm doing. One. And two. And now that I have my H, I should be able to. Is that long enough? That's really weird that they made this. I... Certainly that's just to help me cross. Like, that's not... That's not because this asset only goes so far. There's no way. That's... No, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. It's, it's just a lip to make it not slide down. It's just them thinking of me. Okay, so we, we used our H. And now... Uh... Ooh, we could just do this. As our... Loggy blob gets even bloggier. Bloggier? Loggier. Blobbier? Lobbier. Lobbier. It's election season. You know what's crazy? Wait, how many election seasons have I been a Let's Player for? Because I've talked about a few, and some of the stuff... Actually, that is one of the reasons why I'm not a huge fan of my Super Paper Mario LP. Let's just... I'll just be honest here while I'm in the middle of a shrine, because what else do I have to talk about in shrines? They really don't give me a lot to work with here. Uh... I, I state a, a political opinion in the uh, the Super Paper Mario Let's Play that I do not stand... Actually, I think it's long enough. I don't stand by anymore. Um, so if any of... If anybody's like, hey, this pal guy's kind of cool. I'm new to the channel. I'm gonna... Uh-oh. Uh. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> I'm gonna watch all of his old series. And for some reason... For some reason, the Super Paper Mario LP is one of my most popular. I don't actually understand why. I actually kind of like this shrine. This shrine's kind of cool. Um, can I have my H back, actually? I really like... I really like my H. Yeah, I, I stayed a political opinion in that Let's Play. I do not stand by anymore. A lot has happened since then. Um, so if you are deciding to watch that LP and you're like, Wow, Pal has that opinion? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> uh, a pandemic has happened since then. And I'm not going to state my political opinion now in an election season, no less. That's just a bad idea. It, I mean, it's not a terrible idea. I don't really mind talking about politics in episodes, but I just got to leave it at that so I don't have possibly another, um, another Super Paper Mario moment. I want to like this Let's Play, although that's not the only reason why I didn't particularly enjoy that game. There we go. There's a chest over here. I, I actually really like this shrine. I don't know why. It just... I kind of vibe with it. It's just cool to be bringing pieces and slowly... You know, I think that's that's why. A spiky shield. Um, I'm gonna have to drop this. And then drop the shield. Because I want to open the chest. Yeah, it's it's kind of cool to have a contraption and kind of take it with us the entire way and slowly add to it. I wish more shrines were like that because then it would teach us stuff that we might want to make. Also, I'm kind of sad the chest wasn't behind the waterfall. Behind stuck behind waterfalls is just cool. There's a there's a a trail near where I live that I've hiked like three or four times now, and it has uh. It has a, a giant waterfall, and uh, the path goes behind it. It's so cool. It's so cool. I've hiked it in winter, too, where it was frozen. Oh, that was awesome. All right. Come on, horse. I kind of wish that I could lead my horse by the by the bridle. I think that'd be neat. Just, just so I can walk along while holding it, and it would follow me. <laughs> oh, sorry. I should have killed the- I should have killed the birds, actually. I should have just blown them all up. I've been hearing some chirps and warbles from my fe my little fellow birds. They say some regular guests of the stable are late to arrive. Very late. Oh, so it wasn't just me. That was a real thing. 
The chef here, Gotter, was going to meet with them to learn a new recipe, one that Princess Zelda taught them. Hmm, my keen reporter instincts say something is wrong here. Gotter has been over there waiting for the guests to arrive. He's barely moved this whole time. Let's see. It's not un unusual for guests to decide not to show up, right? But what if they're unable to? They were coming to share a recipe from Princess Zelda, too. Hmm, that could be part of this. She could have killed them. These traps and warbles are worth looking into. I agree, actually. Uh, as, as, exciting, as excited uh, as I am to go to that shrine in the sky, ultimately, it is just a shrine, and so I'd rather, uh, I'd rather do this quest. Thank you for jumping over that man. That is exactly what I wanted you to do, and uh, that's far enough. Oh, there's a well. There are... Hold on. There are wells that we need to explore. Did I miss one? Hold on. Sir? No, no, okay. Totally forgot about that. What is that? Oh, it's a chest. Come on. It's a little bit too high. Um... Well then, drop this. That should that should work. Got it. That almost killed me. <laughs> I kind of miss the days when everything killed me, because I know that that thing wouldn't kill me. Uh, throwing spear. I do. That's better than some of the other garbage I have right now. Yeah, I should probably. I should upgrade some of my weapons, but we're kind of in a peaceful area of the map, so I don't think it's very important that I do that. Um, how does... I forget, how does ascending into water work? What happens? Oh, just nothing. We can just pop out. Cool. Chickens! Wait, hold on. Hold on. This is the first time... Wow, that took nothing. Can I shield bash the chickens? I don't think so. Can I flurry rush the chickens? Cuckoos! Cuckoos! Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, I get bird eggs from this. Oh, it's actually good to do this. I get a bird egg each time I hit, I hit one for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's uh let's talk to this guy. Where is this guy? He's over there. Save me, Cletus. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Some. <clears throat> Something isn't right. Agus and the rest would ha have to cross that bridge to get here, but... Oh, I didn't notice you there. Are you a customer? If you're looking for ser stable services, head on over to the counter. I'm waiting here to greet some guests we were accept expecting, but it's well past when they said they would be arriving. I'm extremely worried. Oh. They've always crossed Owlin Bridge. Owlin! From Skyward Sword! Oramis! In the past, when they were coming here, I figured I'd, I, if I kept an eye on the bridge, I'd catch sight of them eventually. The guests are all gourmets. Their leader, a chef named Agus, has taught me a lot about cooking. They were all excited to visit, and I was looking forward to it. They have a recipe from Princess Zelda to share. Hmm. If Agus and the others have tents, then maybe they're taking the trip nice and slow, camping along the way. I just noticed that thunderhead for like the first time. <laughs> Still, they haven't shown up yet. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, let's 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 go over there. Horse, Dangle! Twilight Princess reference. I should make all my horses reference old Zelda games. That'd be kind of cool. Who are you? Are you old? No, you're... No, you're just a woman. Oh, hey, hello. I keep hearing about the stylish clothes they make in Hateno Village. Take it from me. You can't underestimate the power of a good wardrobe. I used to be a total wallflower. Then I, to I learned how to dress myself and boom, I was a new woman. That's... That's me! Except for the woman part. I I spent like six, seven, no, eight hundred dollars on clothes this year, and it's nice to finally dress how I want to look. Maybe you should go to Heteno Village and try a new look for yourself. You could certainly use it. It's located on the far side of Nekluda in southeast Hyrule. Never know, it might change your life. 
Indeed.